Yeah, let's get this day started. Next. Out. Bathroom privileges. Yeah. Come on, let's roll, chick. Hold on. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the blog. My name is Scott, and today is a big day for me. Today, we are off to get the containers for the new house. I am so excited. It is early. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Just starting to get daylight. As you can see, it's really dark out there. Uh, I am so excited to get this day started. I cannot wait. So let's get right to it. Now, like I said, I couldn't be more excited about going getting these containers. But today is a very crappy day um, as far as... Uh, weather conditions it is supposed to rain all day and uh trying to get everything rigged up gotta stop and get some straps ah.
that's sketchy, dude. Yard again. We're on for our third haul. Go UPS. Got her loaded. This one only took a little bit to uh, get loaded. We ain't been here but five minutes. It's starting to rain. We got it hooked. So we're ready. Talking to the camera. I'm ready. Let's roll. Oh, sure. I got this window here. Just getting some film shots. Anyway, guys, we got the uh, shipping containers. Some of the containers over here, we get two out of the 13 that are going to come. And uh, we got the dozer over here on the side of the road now. It's doing its work. They are very heavy. And. Uh, very soft over here, I can tell you that. Round is right here. Oh man. Those are just wanted to sink in and do some nasty out here. It's so it's so good in this environment right now. It stays in one spot, watch. So there. Look at the cloud. It's crazy. It's like so so anyway. Trying to get a couple of these open. Pull on that one, maybe. Which one? This one. Hold on. That one right there. You're clock locking. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, keeps awful dark in here. As you guys can see. Yeah, this is. This is not bad. Yeah, imagine three of these together as your house. So, if you guys are recording, for a single trailer home, a single trailer home, I don't know if it's live here, but basically we will be here, you know, kitchen be here. I mean, you can make one home out of this if you guys wanted to. Yeah, that's for sure. If you really wanted to, you can have your bedroom back there, maybe a bathroom back there too, your kitchen up here, your living right here, and you'd be still living pretty comfortable because it's all tax free. And this will last you for a lifetime. Three, four on this one. Looks like a welding right there. Yeah. Put some caulk in it. Done some work on it. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but there'll be a, there'll be a, uh, you know, so like, roof in here when I'm done. It's gonna be really cool. We just cut this out. Add two of those bitches on. Yeah. Just think, this is one of 13. 13. Same size as the other one. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. Definitely yeah. live in her. It's gonna be big. My house will be able to do that. somewhere through there through that creek and back up there somewhere back up in there I know it's gonna be we got a long road to go but we're just getting them in the containers up here we're gonna line this road down through here with 13 shipping containers and that's for the base lower part of the house I think there's two 50 or 45 footers all right you guys see the house behind us and you guys think these people used to live in this house and have a family in it we may be like a four family like this is a family of four and people have been living that comfortably you know yeah that's like a big kitchen in then it. you turn around and look how big that is take two of those makes up two of that is bigger than that so uh i got 13 of these things coming it is going to be a very large I think home my apartment would be, be, be big as that all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed our day we had a great day uh and i hope you guys enjoyed our video like i said we still got a lot more content to come we still got 10 more containers to haul in and hopefully it's, you know, it's probably going to take us a week or two to get everything in there, but April is a very soggy month and, you know, no telling when this stuff is going to dry up. I still got to cut a road up the hill and cut off the plateau on top of it and get everything cleaned up before I can drag everything up. 
there's a creek in my way and I just don't want to get the dozer down in there and get the thing stuck. Um, you know, I don't need any of those complications right now, but uh, if you guys continue watching the video, you're going to see more of this shipping container build and lots of new content. We've got some exciting new things coming. So, for now, get out there, design, and enjoy life. Till the next time, see you later.